Right, morning, Gareth. You're very kindly a la Matthew Spriegel, and that proved to be very popular, especially with the Spriegel family. I'm going to let us follow you around today. So it's about 9.30. Uh, One Day International is on in the corner. And what are your movements today? Give us an idea of what you're going to be up to. Um, well, Wednesday's more of a, a fitness day, um, but I'm going to nip down now and just do half an hour's bowling. Um, just some stuff I've been working on yesterday. I just wanted to do it while so I was relatively fresh, although it's, I've been up for about 27 hours already today. Um, and then it's uh, it's fitness with uh, Ashley Wright down uh, down in the hall. Is sort of CV endurance and uh, see uh, see how he can hurt us. And then uh, we've got a gym session um, uh, just after lunchtime. And you've also got to sit down with me again to do our one day international chat, which I know is a. It's a great highlight of your week, isn't it? Well reminded that, because I've forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's good fun. We, uh, we enjoy ourselves, which is good. Um, just before you go down and have your bowl this morning, we're in your corner in the dressing room. Um, just talk us through your corner. What, why this corner? Is it a good corner? Um, what, gets, what just goes on in this corner? Because you have the captain next to you as well, don't you? Yeah, so it's relatively tidy as we uh, as we sit here now. As soon as Rory comes in, then I generally have all his stuff in my corner, and all his stuff's in his. So I have my corner gets very uh, very small and uh, very messy. But uh, no, this was this was my original locker when I, I first joined Surrey, and um, it was available, and I didn't need a, a second go to uh, try and grab it back. Um, very fond memories sat here. Um, and, and plenty more to come with any look. It's a good view, if I just pan around you see, it's a good view of the dressing room. There's the door where Mr Batty and the players make their way out, so you can see everything from here really, can't you? Keep an eye on everyone, <laughs> make sure everyone's behaving. Captain Bird's eye and all that. Absolutely. Now, on your locker door, Mr Batty, just is a picture here of a certain K. Lemon. There he is. Uh, you're a... M- <laughs> You genuinely are a massive fan of K. Lemon, aren't you? And uh, some have said there is a striking, <laughs> striking similarity between yourself and Mr. Lemon. Well, yeah, I do like a bit of Keith. I think he's brilliant and he's really funny. But um, the boys seem to think, particularly when I had the tash in November, that uh, there was a, a resemblance there which was a bit too close for home for me. So I got rid of the tash. But uh, no, I watch Keith a lot. I've got all his DVDs at home. I think he's brilliant. Right, we're now following uh, Mr. Batty down to the indoor school. He seems to have a parachute on his back. I know it's a long way up, but so uh, you're heading down there now, back for a bowl, yes? Yeah, yeah. Just some, you said. just some technical stuff um, before we do anything else. Just while I'm, I'm relatively fresh and uh, try and sort of get a few things sorted that I worked on with uh, Sol's yesterday, and uh, just keep it ingrained in the brain and and. Um, that's the plan, really. You know, they say that to change something, it needs 3,000 repetitions, so uh, I've got a bit of hard work to do. You're literally you're just going to go do this on your own, aren't you, down there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, can we also, just quickly, we did this with Matthew Spriegel. Oh, can you God. show us your photos <laughs> on the wall? Where, where is Jimmy Matty on this wall? <laughs> the convict. Went to watch the Arsenal last night. Oh, I've just fallen down the stairs <laughs> Went to watch the Arsenal last night. On, well, Ramps was there and myself and Brown. Oh, good, excellent. First goal must have been 20 yards offside. 60,000 people, the only person you could hear was Ramps going absolutely mad at the ref. <laughs> and then you're off to football, to football tonight as well, aren't you? Yeah, it's um, a double piece, header. It's a professional cricketers association AGM uh, tomorrow, so um, I'm on like a, some kind of an advisory group thing. Um, and then all the reps and, and other people meet up uh, just for a, a bite to eat and uh, a bit of football this evening before we have the AGM and discuss the future of the game and all these sort of things, which uh, I obviously don't speak very much. I just sit there looking pretty. So Bats, um, you're collecting your balls at the moment, <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly are you, are you up to, we've got a bit of footage there of you. 
Um, I suppose the, the basic crux of it is, is to try and lengthen my stride a fraction, but to get up and over and really drive through. Um, yesterday I, I was just bending my arm a little bit, pennies dropped, but that was just because the weights we'd done on Monday and I was just a little bit stiff. Um, and it was just something I wanted to sort of clar clarify for myself. Uh, Souls all along was saying, don't worry about it, it's just, it's just one of those days sort of thing. But um, sometimes you just need to get it right in your own head. And, you know, I've only bowled 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I'm, I'm very happy with my and, drive. And as we said earlier, you're down here on your own, so I suppose you can just concentrate and get what you want done before everybody else gets in. Yeah, I, I mean, I suppose, and maybe I'm getting a bit in depth, but the majority of professional sportsmen have got their own little bubble where they need to, you know, the confidence is within. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to reconfirm to myself, that look, what I'm working on is, is going very well and the difference in how I'm bowling is huge and it's, it's just a reconfirmation after a, a day yesterday where it just didn't quite go as, as you would have wanted, but not badly, it was just, just wanted that confirmation in, you know, in my own mind, that's all. Get your balls. <laughs> And that solves the mystery of your parachute. <laughs> it certainly That's does. your ball holder. It certainly is. It's yeah. the old, it's the old, uh, old trusted bag holder, uh, yeah. ball holder. Yeah. On you go. All good. Right, but uh, we're in the dressing room. Uh, you've had your bowl this morning. Uh, time for a brew, read of the paper and a watch of the one day, correct? Absolutely. Need, uh, need to see how the boys are going on. Obviously, we're having a chat later on. A um, bit of caffeine actually is good for sore muscles, so it, it relieves a bit of stiffness, so uh, getting a bit of that in me and catching up on a bit of gossip, all good. Tom Jules here at the moment. Hello. There's Jula. We're following Gareth Batty round today. Fantastic. Who wouldn't want to do that? A la, a la Matthew Spriegel, if you remember that blockbuster. Yeah, yeah, similar. Hopefully it goes as well as Spriegel's. Well, Spriegel's one was very popular in the Spriegel household. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty tough. Kind of getting to the middle of the week, so we've already done quite a lot. Heavy weights and some sprinting early, which gets you. It's right in your muscle, and this is pretty unforgiving. Constantly in a crouch position. And how the keepers feel now. I'll stop swearing at them when they miss, miss things. You going, Benzema? Very good, mate. That's the facts. We're in the gym. So you've got your program. Yeah. So give us an idea of what you're with this kicking tune. Give us an idea of what you're going to do. <laughs> Along with the dance moves, I've got um, I've got a squat today, yeah. which I've got to do 120 kgs or more. I've got a bent over row, which I need to do 70 kgs or more. I've got pull ups, which I've got to do four sets of ten, straight arm pull ups. I've got some uh, supplying, no lat lunges, sorry which is sort of that way, which is holding a 20 kgs. And I've got a dead bug, which I need to ask what, ask what that is, because I keep missing it out, so I don't know it. But we're mad for it. Uh, so, just give us an idea of weight. There, We've got a bar which is 20 kgs, uh, a two 15s and a 20 on each side. That's what? About my weight. 120. That's about, about Ash Wright. <laughs> or Rory. About Rory. You've just lifted the equivalent of a sorry captain. <laughs> Not a million miles off. I hope you're watching this, Rory. <laughs> there he is. He's lost weight, isn't he? <laughs>
Well, we've got uh, we've got our chat, which uh, has been brilliant the last uh, few months. We've been doing it. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great. I'll walk you into the studio, pass the microwave, and we keep a few nibbles around just in case we get peckish as we're doing it. Obviously, studio here. Um, got a few notes that we, we sort of prepare and uh, we're obviously good to go. It's all high-tech stuff, microwave and frozen yoghurts. We're going to uh, chuck the, micro, uh, the uh, microphone on and we're, uh, we're all good to go, mate. We struggle to record ourselves through the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Right, so now it is our one-day chat, isn't it? Excellent. <laughs> Well, afternoon, everybody. Uh, Gareth Batty and I are back once again here in the dining room at the Kia Oval. Six